do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright, so we're back with another big body banger. You feel me? Listen, today we got something wild. This girl puts her fiance up to the You know, like when you're getting married, right? First of all, you know, when you're getting married, you want to make sure you're marrying the right person. So you might put them up to certain tests. This girl decided to put her husband up to a test while he was in Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? Sin City. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. He was there. You know what I'm saying? And she. Kind of set him up with an escort. Now, if you don't know what an escort is, an escort is like a prostitute. It's 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 a woman that will sleep with a man for you know what I'm saying money. I don't want to say and get the money time, but you know, you know what it is. She set him up with one of them shorties to see what the heck would happen. I, I don't know. I black he in the thumbnail he's black. Y'all know black men don't cheat, so I'm rooting for him. I do not think he go cheat or fold. I think he he gonna be solid. He gonna be he'll stay ten toes down. You know what I'm saying? What do y'all think in the comments down below before we watch this? And don't freaking cheat. But let's just hop right into this, man. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV, man. What Today, up, me and the team are literally going to Las Vegas to crash a bachelor's party. Man, this shit crazy. She really oh, about this, to crash. this a bachelor party, too. It's uh, gonna be saucy. Yeah, right. Destiny wanted to see if her fiance Joseph was truly loyal to her or not. Destiny reached out to me and the team about a month ago, but it actually took us two months to finally execute this test. I initially was supposed to fly out to Milwaukee to execute this test, but Destiny thought if Joseph was a cheater, what better opportunity would we have other than using this bachelor party as a test in Sin City? Once we get to Vegas, my team will be operating as Waylock Visuals, a company that Destiny told Joseph she hired to capture their festivities that goes on in Vegas. This will give us all the flexibility we need to spy she on legit. Joseph without him. She didn't figure everything out. The no girl question legit. or being concerned about the cameras. Lacey is playing a decoy. She has one job tonight, but her job is very important. She has to follow them around and do whatever she has to do to get in that room. So I just got off the phone with Destiny, you guys. She's actually arriving to Vegas two hours after we get there. So when she get there and land, she's going to text me and we're going to meet up with her at the airport. Joseph thinks all their friends are coming to Vegas to party and for their wedding but the whole entire time from the moment he lands little do he know he will be on a loyalty test how you gonna ruin his bachelor party like this so Not at this ruin, point we was but... basically waiting in the airport for destiny plane to land and she texted me she will be arriving shortly by baggage claim bro this is crazy bro yeah nah for real just what would you do in a situation if yo fiance tried to crash your bachelor party bro yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I'd be mad as a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. Like, Destiny? now, first of all, I, I, I wouldn't. I'm not like my, my bachelor party. I ain't do nothing crazy like that. You know what I'm saying? I just want to do like fun stuff. Like we we did like zipline, paper, like, like we did fun stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't do the strippers. I don't do none of that. But like dudes that do do that, well, I don't know. To each their own. I'm just not that that type of person. It's like if I'm finna marry someone, why I need to go out with a last bang? You know what I'm saying? Why I need to go and get strippers and all this? Stuff? I don't need to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting married. How you doing? Nice to finally meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Yeah, this is uh, Smitty. This is my security. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, this nice to meet is Jarvis, you. part of the uh, team. And this is Ricardo and Drew. Yeah. So we finally made it here. Yeah. How was your uh, flight? It was good, not too long. It was good? Cool. Yeah. Give me a little rundown on everything real quick. Yeah, so I have us staying at the Cosmo. So it's going to be me and my girls for our bachelor party. Mm -hmm. We're just going to be partying. And I have the guys there, too. But mm -hmm. obviously, they don't know you guys are here, so right. they're gonna be doing their own thing. But like, I really want to just like, just feel like I can trust him. So. What type of signs have he shown you to make you get to this point? I mean, you're about to crash this whole bachelor party. Yeah, Joseph you know, loyal, bro. Stop it. Like it's weird. Like he stopped calling me babe. Like he's always on his phone. He just like I used to. Have Boy, he's working. He's trying to afford the freaking wedding. Mm -hmm. He's out late and like he does work nights, but like not every day. Do you all share locations? Yeah, we used to. Oh, so that stopped too. Yeah, oh. everything stopped. I'm, I'm hoping he passed, but I'm also kind of. You're about to get married. Yeah. Yeah, but you know. So what you gonna do if he passed? If he doesn't pass, or if he does? Oh, if he does, if he passed. He ain't got enough. <laughs> okay, we can go ahead and just head to the hotel and, and get uh, situated and stuff, so we can anticipate them coming. The fact that Destiny was in charge of booking the flights and the hotel, it worked in our favor because all she had to do was get an extra key to Joseph's room so we can go in and place cameras. So now we were all just headed to the Cosmopolitan in separate cars where we meet Destiny had to grab those keys from her so we can go in and set everything up so we'll be ready for when Joseph and his friends arrive.
they taking this as a vacation. Guys, I'm about to see if the hotel rooms are ready and see where Destiny is at with the hotels and everything so we can go ahead and set the cameras in the inside. How you doing? I'm Jack, nice to meet you. You are the maid of honor. Maid of honor? Okay, cool. Why y'all look so sad? Um, my bridesmaids, they just, they couldn't make it. They're what happened? Late. They got that don't got nothing to do with this video. I don't care. I don't care. We don't care that your bridesmaids didn't make it. That's mean, but come on now. This is about catching Joseph being loyal. Not about your, your, your bachelorette party getting freaking ruined. Delayed? Yeah. Why y'all out here? What happened to the room? It's just not ready yet. Like, they don't even have an excuse. It's not ready? It's not ready. Neither of the rooms? Mm -mm. Did they give you a time frame on when they was going to be ready? No. They just said, just come back and we'll call y'all. Oh, wow. I started to get a little bit frustrated, you guys, because I planned this out to the T, and here we have it. The Cosmopolitan will not allow us to go into our room because they're saying they're short of staff and they didn't get to our room and weren't able to clean it. We eventually was able to get inside the rooms, but because we were not able to get into the rooms when we wanted to get into the rooms, we had to find another window to place the cameras inside of the room because Joseph ended up arriving. So now it was basically just time for us to meet Joseph as well. There is a fly flying around right now, and I'm finna end it. That was for Jack. That was very random. Visual. I buy the same product. And now I get a freaking ass. See, this, I get this, a much this, this is I karma. Hundreds of dollars this is a month. karma. I know what you're gonna let it live. Trick? Hey. What's up, man? Hi. Hey, how you doing? Good. How was your flight? It was good. How was your flight? It was good. Come on in. What's up, what's up, sis? Hi. How's it good? It's, it's going. Uh, what's up? Looking beautiful. Yeah, so what's the plans for tonight? Uh, well, me and Jamie just <laughs> Why do you keep looking at the camera like that? Oh, he looking at it with a stank face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Uh, it's, it's going. Uh, look at his face the way he look at the camera. Yeah, so what's the plans for tonight? Uh, well, me and Jamie are just trying to just, you know, just hang out a little bit. But what you guys got going on? Can I talk to you over for a second? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who does it do with the camera? They're just, um, they're the, the film, me and Jamie. Then you guys for what? Because of all the good memories, and you know, like we can always look back on them, especially when they're hurt. I mean, do you guys appreciate it for us? Do you guys feel me? Yeah, just let me tell them because, like, you know, it's good memories. You can show your mom, you can show my dad, like, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. That's weird, baby. It's not weird. I see why he looking at it, cause he ain't even know. He ain't even know that they was doing that. You know what I'm saying? He ain't even give him a heads up or nothing like that. Just for like an hour, please. Crazy. Well, I don't want him in the room right now. I don't want him then, kicking with me or my homeboys. Like he can film y'all, but I don't want him to watch him. I'm glad you're here though. Yeah. Here, though. I don't. I don't want that nigga. Okay. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Hey, what's up, man? Yo, yo. What's good, fam? Good to see you. Good to see you. How are you? Hey, how you been? Pretty good. Hey, girl. Hi. How you doing? What's up? What's up? What's up? Are you ready? Congratulations on everything. Are you excited? Yeah, super excited. I know. Good, good, good. Never been here, so. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Big day, big day, big day. Yes, sir. Did he say anything about the cameras? Like, was he weirded out? Yeah, he pulled me to the side. He was like, what are you doing? Why are they here? It's weird. Oh, like, shit. get them out of my face. Joseph clearly wasn't cool with us filming them. He even told Destiny that he was only cool with us filming her, but not him and his friends. Destiny told us it was okay to keep filming, so we still stuck around with the cameras as freely as possible. Wait, is he cool with it? He's gonna be cool with it. I was like, it's just for memories. It's just for memories. So. Okay. And when they got downstairs, Ricardo let us know that we were in the clear to bug the rooms with the mics and the cameras. Yeah. Cool. So where is he going? They're going out, I don't know what club, but like either Ami or Zook or something like that. Okay, so we're gonna have to discreetly wait at the bottom to see where they're gonna go or whatever, and um, it starts now. Yeah. All right. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Talk to me. How you Joseph doing? Are you nervous? Yeah, I'm a little nervous. He just, he just, he just sells illegal clothes, so that's why he doesn't want to be filmed. My stomach is in knots, so. Do you think he's gonna pass this test? Yeah. No. What do you think he's doing here? Being chilling. at home. He ain't doing nothing, he's chilling. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, yeah, me too. We are now in phase two of our test, and this is where Lacey comes in. All she has to do is approach Joseph, create small talk, and eventually get Joseph to agree to take her back to the room. Nice, what was your name again? 
Sean. Oh, nice. Right, right. What was your name? Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, do you have, do you have breadsticks here? I don't think they have breadsticks here. No, I want some breadsticks. You don't work here, W. <laughs> he wants some breadsticks? <laughs> what was your name? Hey, hey, I'm he Irish. Irish. The fly is still alive. Where are you from? I'm from Cali. Where I got a, yeah, I'm from, I'm I got an ad for no reason. The fly is still alive. This just pissed me off. This just pit. I see it. Right? It's literally laughing at me. I see it. I'm going to let him live. It's just a little tiny fly. So why would I get a freaking ad then? I'm from Milwaukee, but I've been in Vegas for the last six months. Okay. What are you guys in Vegas for? Oh, for his bachelor party. Yeah, you're okay. getting married. I need to kill this thing. I got some cookies for you, mother. Bomba clot. It's alive. This mofo just don't die. He just doesn't die. He just, he's invincible. Okay, I'm done. I'm shooting a video. This is super professional. Super professional. Get back in scene. Back in character. The girl's trying to seduce them. I got it. Yeah, yeah, he's engaged, but you can slide to the telly. Just give me your phone, I'll give you the stuff. Okay, he kind of cute, so. Yeah? Yeah. All right, we'll bet, bet. We'll, we'll set something up. All right, bet. We'll set something up. Take your goofy. How you finna, how you finna set your mans up to cheat on his wedding night? You know what I'm saying? That's stupid. Yeah, like, you feel me? It's his last magic. It seemed that Joseph was a little bit tipsy to the point where he thought Lacey was a waitress. While Lacey was trying to focus on Joseph, it seemed that his friend was more interested in Lacey than Joseph. For sure. Lacey didn't even have to ask Joseph to go back to the room because his friend invited her. How you doing, Joseph? Irritated. His friend's a bitch. Yeah, like, you feel me? It's his last magic party. You gotta have some fun. And just like that, phase two was successful, but we still had a problem. Joseph friend put his number in Lacey's phone, and the last thing we wanted him to think was that Lacey was coming to the room for him. So we had Lacey text him, and this is how the convo went. Lacey texted Joseph friend, hey, what hotel number are you in? I'm on my way. He simply responded, 4117, it's on the 31st floor. Lacey asked him, is Joseph there? He then responded, yeah, he is. Why do you ask? Lacey said he didn't talk much, and he's hot. And Joseph friend just said, yeah, just come. So hopefully when Lacey gets there, he get the picture so Lacey is able to focus all her attention on Joseph. But you got to see, she not really doing a good job. She was supposed to not even talk to the side dude. She's not supposed to talk to that goofy Elmo looking dude with the puffy hair. You know what I'm saying? She's supposed to just go straight for the subject, straight for freaking Joseph. And she, she fumbled the bag. Okay, this is gonna sound a little nuts, but the fastest and easiest way to make passive online income on Amazon is to never sell physical products. I All right, Joseph. Prove me right, man. Prove me right. Well, come on. Ah, hey, nigga. Hell yeah. We all talk the world! Dang it, baby! Boy, you gonna shut your stupid self up? We ain't tapping your way! Shut hey, up. Myron eyes, weird, bro. Myron eyes, dumb as fuck. Had to go to his telly. Okay, so in a minute, we're gonna go ahead and send Lacey in, and then everything will start. I'm proud of you, my boy. I'm proud. Nigga. We the same. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta have some fun before you, you lock down. We have We have Where you going next to? I don't know, bro. It's probably somewhere in the morning. You know, you know, in the morning, but in the morning, it is like the reception. Hey, yo, drunk ass. Are you here? Oh, shit, man. Fuck. Are you Come on, Joseph. Hi. Oh, what's up? <laughs> so they just got one shorty at the crib? Wait a minute. One shorty, three dudes. What the f was going to be happening? What was this goofy tall, this fly right here pissing me to piss? I swear on everything. You lucky I'm a man of God. You lucky I'm a man of, you lucky I'm a man of God. But anyways, so three dudes and one just random shawty pulling to the crib. What y'all for the dude? Did you run a train or something? Come on, man. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> you do? How? <laughs> You guys had fun? Yeah? Yeah, it was smooth, it was smooth. 
Where your homegirl dropped? They left. They left. They yeah. Left. Don't worry. One of my homies left too. But uh, bros, I'm finna go. I'm finna go grab the food, bros. Right, yeah. I'm finna go grab the food. Right, it's here. <laughs> nah, I gotta go get it, bros. Uh, I'll be back. I got you. I'll bring some bread to you. He don't want him. He don't want to be there by himself. Uh, no, I think I'm okay. You want bread? Good. <laughs> I'm I good. So, how was the club? Well, how was the club for you? It was fun for me. I mean, it was fun for me. All my friends left with a bunch of guys, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why did you leave all that? I don't know. They weren't really my type. Who's your type? Uh, I mean, you. <laughs> Why is he acting like that? What? What's so funny? I'm not your type. No? Why not? You're married? Yeah, I guess. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. oh, shit, huh? Okay. I mean, you didn't have any fun on this trip? I had a lot of fun. No girls? No? Oh, no. I mean, it's your last night being single. You don't want to do nothing? Mm, I did something. What'd you do? Oh, no shit. I went to a party. <laughs> that don't you count. Back, you can't get getting breast sticks, Lacey. That don't count, though. I'm getting breast sticks, Lacey. Come on, you're in Vegas. He's you still on this stupid breast sticks. Breast sticks stuff? Mm, okay. Breast sticks? It doesn't even make sense. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> but I mean... He really not doing nothing, though. He chilling for real. He really not doing nothing for real. He chilling. Like, you don't ever think about doing anything with a girl? No? You don't think I'm pretty? I am. Why don't you want to do something then? We can like have fun. Cause he's a loyal black man. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he even entertaining conversation with her? Yeah, that is kind of wild. You kind of really doing that. a little bit. It, it looks like you drank it all though. No, you got a little bit more. I think you need to drink all of it. I need to drink all of it. Yeah, you gotta drink all of it. <laughs> I drink all of it. I'm not trying. What do you mean? You're in Vegas. You got to. <clears throat> No, I think I ate earlier. I think I want something else though. What do you want? What do you think I want? Uh, you gotta tell me, Lacey. I'm not, I don't really want <laughs> I could barely hear him. I mean, I thought we had a connection in the club, don't you think so? Did, did I, I mean, meet you, Lacey? Yeah, you met me in the club. I did, huh? Vegas stays in Vegas, so. Don't fold, man. Yeah. Don't fold, Yo, Jack. Smash I mean, not Jack, really, this man ain't. Don't Sugar fold, Joseph. Don't do it, man. Shave butter melts into skin. Rich cream nourishes. Take this off my Wrap cream. your skin in cashmere. Why you whisper? Why is she whispering? BK Melsa here. Everyone say cheese. Classic bacon and spicy. Flame grilled double on the toasted bun. With the caramelized onions now, I want one. BK, have it your way. I mean, your fiance's not here. She wouldn't know. Well, she would know. How? I would, I, would, I would have to tell her. You would tell her? Yeah, that's just real. Uh, no, I, I mean, I feel he like a real dude. I ain't gonna lie to honest you. Honest with me, so I want to be honest. With when I go, when I go to sleep at night, you know, my mom always told me it, it's best to go to sleep knowing that you ain't do nothing to nobody. Is she having a bachelorette party too? Yeah. How do you know she's not doing anything? That's for her to deal with. Exactly, so you should be on the same page. <laughs> you're funny, Lacey. <laughs> am I right you're or funny. am I right? You're funny, you're funny, you're funny, Lacey. <laughs> am I right? You're funny. Where are the breast sticks, Lacey? I don't know, I don't think they're coming <laughs> in. He's still talking about these butter and breast sticks. <laughs> Yo, this dude funny, and he not really, he not folding at all. Plus, he's like super drunk. You know what I'm saying? He not folding. He's doing, Joseph, Joseph, Joseph doing good. Joseph is doing great. Anymore. <laughs> he is so drunk right now. I can see. I don't know. He's lit. Lacey, she's probably so with. Happy. She's probably with some other Lacey, guy. I'm so happy I'm getting married, Lacey. Are you? Yes. I'm so happy I'm getting married. Like, I'm glad. But I love like... my fiance so much. Oh, I'm glad. W's in the chat for Joseph. Everybody spam W's in the chat. Don't you think you should like? You don't. You don't do anything. You don't want to have fun. Last night being single. 
No? I can't. I can't. Oh. Um, I can't. I can't. How long more are you in Vegas? I'm in Vegas until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning is a wedding. Yeah, I just... Tomorrow. Are you getting married here? Yeah, yeah. It's just like... How can I look her in the face and marry her? Knowing I just did something the night before, like I'm, I'm like I'm tipsy, but well, I'm not. I feel like for him to be drunk, he's really handling this stuff. He's really doing pretty good. Yeah. What is your opinion on it? I agree. I think he's behaving a lot better than I thought he would. I just want some breast eggs, Lacey. <laughs> he's still turning. He's just he's just breasties. hungry. <laughs> breast eggs are good. I just want some breast eggs. Hey, my fiance. I feel it. I don't know her number. Do you, do you know my fiance? No, I don't. <laughs> you don't even know my fiance. How would I know your fiance? How do you give my room number? <laughs> your boys. And you gave it to me too. I did. Yeah, you said I you thought you were to bringing the, the breadsticks, Lacey. No, you didn't bring <laughs> all the breadsticks. Yo, Joseph is a freaking clown, bro. Joseph, these breadsticks, man. Except the club. There was no such thing as breadsticks at the club. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry to waste your time. Like, I, just, I have a fiance. I, I have the fun I have, but I just can't go. I, ha I can't have that much fun. It's just not right with me. I just, it don't sit right in my heart. It doesn't make sense. All right. I thought you were the bartender. I mean, I could be a good looking bartender. <laughs> You're so nice, Lacey. I have a fiance, Lacey. I, have a fiance. I, have a I mean, Lacey. it's Vegas. No one would know. I would know. And once you say I do, everything goes away. I think so. That's not how it works. I'm a lover boy, Lacey. You love her, I'm oh, a lover girl. I can't love with anybody. I gotta love my fiance. I'm sorry. You don't know if she's doing the same thing. You gonna treat her with the same energy? What energy are you talking about? What if she's with another man? It's Vegas. That's I a girl's I, mindset when they come to Vegas. I trust her. I, I think. I think if I'm getting married to her, I trust her. If I didn't trust her, I wouldn't be getting married to her. Do you know her plans yeah, for tonight? A bachelor party. She's Do you know where she went? I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I'm sure she's okay. I mean, I'm I've been to a bachelorette party in Vegas before, and usually I've seen the bride do some crazy things. Know, that just, is very I'm true. Not, I'm like, not the bride. I'm the groom. It's just not, you know, I'm just do, I'm doing me. Lacey, you know, I can't, I can't, I can't cheat on my fiance. I just can't. Damn. I can't. Is it the drinks talking? Because when <laughs> hey, you're talking, you're when you met Lacey. me, you were sober. You're funny, Lacey. You're funny, Lacey. Am I? Funny. How? I was sober. You were sober. <laughs> How do you think you remembered my name? <laughs> I thought you just told me. No. I must know you. I do know you. I wasted your time. You Did know. You? I'm, I'm sorry. Are you sure? I may, I may have thought something. I just. Are you I can't sure? Do it. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Come on. I'm sure. All right. I'm sure. Come on. All right. Come on. Joseph. <laughs> Joseph W's in the chat for Joseph right now. Everybody W's in the chat. <laughs> I'm sorry. I no, you you're fine. Please thank me, sure. Thank God. Can I get a hug? A friendly hug. I can't. No? no. All right. No. High five. I can't. You're supposed to have the breadsticks, Lacey. There's no high five. Uh, you don't even have breadsticks. Right. I don't want to be on these right, fucking cool. breadsticks, man. Now it's, it's just up to you if you want to go in there, confront him, and let him know all of this was a test or not. Um. Not, not really. I don't. Maybe not right now. Mm-mm. I think, like... Why don't you want to tell them? I just... I just kind of want to, like, just prove that there are good men in the world. And, that, you know, he's you good! Of young stuff, but, like, I don't... I don't think he needs to know, and I don't think me telling him is going to help anything. Okay, uh, well, I respect that, and congratulations. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm glad that he passed. I'm just a little... I don't know, I guess, like, embarrassed that, like, I didn't trust him, and... Yeah, why you didn't trust him? He don't seem like he the type to do to do nothing. He seemed like the type of dude to just do right by you. What well, you the problem? Do the lawyers who test on you? He was good and all that stuff. I guess I was just like it's just me and like my own insecurities, which is why I, I called right. you guys and stuff. But I'm glad that I'm glad that he passed. Are you just gonna like wait for him to see the episode, or do you feel like after the wedding you kind of just gonna break everything down to him? Yeah, probably after the wedding I'll talk to him about it because he was a little iffy about you guys showing up in the first place. Okay, so I cool. think I'll probably wait to see what he has to say about it. Well, it was nice meeting you, Jamie, and it was nice meeting you. Yeah, that's done. That's done. W, everybody does. This is the first time I watched one of the loyalty videos and they didn't fold. See, this is a black man, Joseph.
Good job, Joseph. You are setting, you are letting people know that there's great men out there like myself who would never cheat. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you're doing good in society. You know what I'm saying? That's the end of the video. Y'all let me know in the comments down below. Would y'all have folded personally if y'all was drunk in Vegas the night before your wedding, your bachelorette party, I mean your bachelor party, all that? Would you have folded? Be honest. I'm not here to judge you, but if you would fold, you're, you're a loser. That's all I'm saying. But that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed this video, you have to watch this video right here. I'm telling you, I've never suggested something bad for y'all. Watch this video and thank me later. That's about it, though. I'm going to see y'all out.